Oh, this, is, this this could be interesting. What's going on, guys? I'm the white guy, and today we are checking out the other half of the arena cross tracks made by C4 Detonator. This would be a hatchet arena cross, and just for fun, we're running with full AI right now, just to see what happens. I'll probably end up going back to turn them off, but um, this should be a little little bit more interesting. Oh, you got bumped. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, they're crashing everywhere. Oh no, they're oh they're falling all over the place. Oh, we're getting piled on. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's get to try and get ourselves moving here. They're, oh, they're just they're just, they're just everywhere. Jeez. <sighs> that guy's going backwards. There are just people flying all over the track right now. This is this is just fantastic. But this is this is Hatchet Arena Cross, which is, again is a shorter track. I set it for 30 laps. Cause I, I'm not sure the, the last track was like. 10 second lap times. This one's probably even shorter than that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. We're gonna, hopefully this will be a little more interesting now that we have to deal with some AIs and some lapping traffic going on here. Maybe we'll get some more terrain deformation on the track. I don't know. But we got some more ugh, AI are just everywhere right now. Oh boy. Alright, let's get through here. There we go. Yeah. Also, uh, let me know if you guys would like to see some more AI in custom track videos. I don't know. Usually the the custom tracks and AI don't really agree as you can kind of. Let's see. Is there any examples we're coming out? I guess we'll have to come up and lap some of them. But this is the most difficult that I can set the reflex AI to. And as you can see, like with this guy over here, uh, yeah, that guy too. Oh, and that guy. They're just The AI just struggles on some of these custom tracks. Like, oh, is he going to figure it out? Is he going to figure it out? Is he going to figure it out? Nope. Uh, that guy's doing it too. Is there another one? What? Is anybody else going to come right into the gate right there? See, it looks like we got another one coming. Yeah. That guy just jumped over. Yep, there's... Yep, see, they're all going for that one post. Uh, as you can kind of tell, AI in this game are a little, little bit finicky. They don't always agree with custom tracks. Which is why 99% of the time I just turn them off because it's... I, I get some comments asking about that. And I've done a few videos already showing why I usually don't do them. But I, I guess occasionally I should turn them on just to shake things up a bit and kind of make a point about it. So we'll, we'll see if we can... I, I assume we're going to win. So we, we just stopped for like, a, like 10 seconds right there to watch people crash into the gate and we're still 7 seconds ahead. And this, this is the most difficult AI it gets, but I guess uh, you can turn them on if you just want them to kind of get in the way and tear up the track a bit to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself, I, I, I guess is the, the use for them here. Oh, let's get through that. There we go. All right, let's see if we can actually break a 13 second lap now. Get through that. Oh, yeah, see, he's trying to cut the track right there. They're, just, they're on the struggle bus today. They're all, they're all just, oh, hey, hey, he's in the gate again. Look at that. They're, that's, uh, they're all just going to that same. So there goes another one. They're just sitting at the gate, trying, they, they just can't figure it out. They're, they're trying their hardest, but they're just, they're, they're, they just can't figure out that there's a post in the way there. Oh, oh, he got pushed into the gate. Oh, no. Ah. Rats, it was going so great, and then that just got shoved into the gate by the other AI. Let's see here, let's get ahead of him. Thank you, let's make some more passes. There, I, it, there are just so many passes you can make on them right now. Oh, hey, I took somebody out. Nice. Alright, let's get through this little bug. Oh, oh, we just got, oh, guy, we just got taken out by, I think that was Villapoto. That was, that was just a great line as he jumps off onto the wrong track. <laughs> this is actually is kind of fun now. I, I, I do like this. I'm glad I turned the AI on now. This makes it a lot more interesting. We have to dodge a bunch of bikes and stuff. Let's jump over him. Take him on the inside. That guy is just stuck. Wait, is he going to be stuck in the corner forever? No. Maybe? No, he's backing it up. He's, he's, he's working on it. He's work. They're trying. That's like a bunch of drunk fourth graders. Is, is what, is, they're trying to figure out how the track works and what's going on right now. It does seem like it is getting torn up a bit, though. I uh, it's definitely digging down to the lower layers of the track already, and this is not, I'm only on lap 13 even, but I, I don't know if this is like, no, that, that must be like that, but I, I don't know if this little notch was cut out here from the start, or if just the AI responding there is just dug out like a decent chunk of the track there to be flat now. Uh, I hope that you guys can see that. I'll stop at it again this lap to point it out again, if we can get through this corner without getting taken out. Yeah. That little notch right in front of me right there. That I, right in front of the bike, that little notch. I don't know if that was there from the start. I honestly don't remember. You might be able to go back in the video and check. But if that's not, that's an impressive amount of terrain that just got hacked off of the track by AIs crashing into stuff and respawning. There's a, there's a nice Red Rider banner there, and we gotta get through here though. Jump all the way over that, cut him, try to, try to slide inside him. 
He's gonna jump into the corner, drive past him. All right, let's see, where, where can I make some other clean passes here? It's, oh no, he bumped into his back tire. Oh, all right, come on. Let's get back going. We only have a 51 second lead right now. We need to extend that out. If we can get, once if we can get to a two minute lead. Oh, he got landed on, dang it. If I can get to a two minute lead by the end of the video, that would, that would just be great. And the other thing I'm going to be mentioning this in future videos for a while now, um, there is a new MX game coming out. I don't know why I just said MX game. There's a new motocross game coming out made by Last Chance Studios. Last Chance Qualifier Studios, something like that. Uh, go look. I think I want to say it's Last Chance Studios, maybe. Uh, go go check them out. It's either Last Chance or Last Chance Qualifier Studios. I don't remember. It's, I can't. I, it's such a simple name, but it's just slipping my mind right now for some reason. But they're actually working on actively developing a new game right now, and I'd suggest you guys go check them out, because I didn't know this was a thing until I saw a post on Reflex Central, and on, if we get the word out, more people can find out about it, maybe give them some more support and encourage them some more. But that'd be neat to see. And also, by the time you're watching this, I might have I might have already picked up a copy of MXGP3 by this point, but... Oh! Oh, what a dirty line by the KTM there. But um, if you guys would be interested in seeing MXGP3, let me know, because I need to get an idea of if that's going to be, if I'm going to be able to get my money back in that investment or not. Alright, yeah, let's get cut through. Oh, oh, yes, we took out Carmichael. Eat it. Alright. And we'll just bump over that, spin him out too. Oh, up to a minute and ten second lead right now. Nice. Villapoto is stuck in the gate right there. Alright, let's cut her out. Oh, we didn't get enough speed through that. Okay, though, we can just use the dragon's back, break over it. We need 13.42. We need to beat that time. Pull the tear off over that jump and bump over. Yes, yes, this is looking like a good lap so far. Was looking like a good lap. And 13.36. Nice. So if I can get to 12 points something, that would just be fantastic. But Villapoto might... Nope, we got by. Yes. All right, come on. Come on, we're so close. Nope, 14 seconds. Oh, 14 seconds flat. Mmm, great on, great on the money. Nice, meant to do that. Alright, cut and pass. Oh, Carmichael. What a, what a take out there by me driving underneath. That wasn't even getting landed on. That was me just going under him. Alright, so cut in through there. Sharp corner. Step over. Yes, this is looking better now. Bump, bump, brakes. Around that corner. And. 12 point something there. Oh, 1306. So close. So, oh, what? You're going backwards there, bud. What are you doing? Alright, we can't, we don't quite have a two minute lead yet, which was the goal. They want to try and get a two minute lead over the AI in this. Just got, oh boy, they're, they're just struggling so hard right now. Alright, so go and. Good line, good line. Oh, oh no, KTM. Come on, KTM. Why, what? Do me dirty like that. There literally might not be enough time in the race to get this out to be a two minute lead, even if they all just stopped. Alright. Let's get through that. There we go. Yeah, cut it. I think you want to cut in tight on that. It's ultimately going to be faster. Especially when the dragon's back's all torn up like that. And he's going backwards again. Nice. Nice. But uh, this looks like it's going to end up being a shorter video because we've knocked out 30 laps in less than 10 minutes here. It's about, we're about to hit the nine minute mark as we knock out all the laps. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to see some AI on future tracks, ooh, I want to see if there, are there any, good, there any good highlights here? No, just diving through that. Highlight, let's watch the highlight reel for a second see if there's anything. Oh, look at that. This is a nice chaotic start right there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video here. Some, some a little bit different in the arena cross track. Again, made by C4 Detonator. Really nice track. And I, I honestly had, actually had fun making that video with all the AI on it. Let me know if you want to see AI and more custom tracks in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I appreciate all your guys' support. Because you guys are what make this channel possible, ultimately. And with, without you guys, none of these videos would be here. Uh, if you're new here and you actually did manage to make it through, like, what's hopefully going to end up being a 10-minute video, 30 more seconds. If you made it this far in the video and you're new, maybe you're interested in subscribing. I've got a lot of content like this. There hopefully should be some real life stuff coming at some point in the future. Don't know when exactly. Can't nail that down. Might be a couple months again, but there should be some interesting stuff coming out of that. That's all i got to say for now. I'm going to say thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope I'll catch you guys in another video. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. That's up for you to figure out. See you later.